Welcome back everybody. And in this video, we are going to go through the derivative of an exponential function. So that is uh, one of the form e to the x or e to the fx in more general terms. And this would appear in the IB course, the AP course, A level, any um, calculus sort of driven um, high level course. So let's have a quick look at this. Do it. So in the formula booklet for IB, it does state that the derivative of e to the x is simply just e to the x. Now that is helpful to some extent, but uh, not when the e to the x becomes like e to the 2x or e to the 2x plus one or something like that, that is a little bit different. So we'll just come back to that in one moment. In general, you should know this for just a, a concept that if you, ha if you graph e to the x, so let's say this is uh, e to the x here, what it's basically saying here, that when you differentiate the function at any given point, then the gradient at that point is actually equal to the uh, numerical value of the function. So for example, let's say we go ahead and substitute two into this, and then therefore we would have um, f of two is equal to e squared. So uh, we can leave that as an exact value as e squared, but that is a, a numerical number, right? And what it's saying here that is, that is also equal to the gradient at that point. So if we were to draw a tangent to the curve at this point, this numerical value would also be the gradient at that point. Okay, so it's only one of the um, curves in, in mathematics that, that this is true for, that the derivative of the function is uh, still, the, still the same value. So that is just a small concept that I wanted to cover just before I started this. Now, uh, I'm going to go straight in with explaining uh, the quick way of doing these are that if you are given f of x, and that is equal to a function of x. So we're just gonna expand on what's in the formula booklet a little bit by putting f of x up here. Then the derivative of uh, f is going to be e to the fx times by the derivative of the power, so the derivative of the indice. Now that is actually chain rule. And in one of the questions below, I'll go through it in more depth in chain rule if you're interested in how to do that. But just for the purpose of this video, to get things moving, I want you to stick to that, um, that process, okay? So let's have a quick look at these three questions down here. So if you wanna stop the video, uh, take a picture of this and try and work them through, then I suggest you do that now. Otherwise I'll start on question one. Okay, so question one states, if, e, if y equals e to the 2x, then find dy by dx and determine the gradient at x equals 2. So it's basically just asking us to find the gradient on this function at 2. So I said above to just simply think of this as e to the fx, so e to the 2x, and then the derivative of y is e to the 2x times by the derivative of the power, and the derivative of the power is simply 2. So therefore, we would just get 2 times e to the 2x. So I'll just re remind you, here in blue was what my rule was. It was basically to leave the power and the indice um, still attached to the e, but then we must multiply through by the derivative of that power. And so that's what I've done down here. Uh, and I've ended up with 2e to the 2x. Now the question states, um, find the gradient at x is equal to two. So now I just need to go ahead and substitute two into this. So I'll just sort of move over here so you can see this. I'm gonna say, what is the derivative when I substitute two into it? And therefore it will be two e so the two times two, which is four, and without a calculator, I'll just leave that at that value, which is two times e to the power of four. And that's it, that's question one. Question two. So this one's getting a little bit more difficult now. It's, uh, there's a product here, and you can watch my other video on how to deal with a product of two, um, sort of, uh, two values here, uh, times together. So it says, find the derivative of f of x and the gradient of the function at one. So again, we're gonna to have to differentiate this function and then substitute one into it, and that will be our result. So I'm not gonna go over the whole of the product rule um, operations. I'm gonna simply start with uh, labeling up u and v. So please check out my other videos on how to deal with a product. Um, so if we have u is equal to three x squared, then u prime, which is du by dx, is equal to six x. Then we have v, 
which is equal to e to the minus x. Now, let's not forget what I just did in uh, part one, uh, question one, was that the derivative of this is, it stays the same, so that all stays the same, okay? But then we must multiply through by the derivative of the power, and the derivative of minus x, so the differential of minus x, is negative one. Now, when you times this through by negative one, uh, I could put minus one there, but that looks a little bit silly, uh, because uh, if you're times in by one, it stays the same, and it just becomes minus in this case. So I'm just going to put minus at the front here. Okay, now the product rule states that the derivative of a function is uh, v times the derivative of u plus u times the derivative of v. Uh, I should have my v's and my u's a little bit more accurate. And we're going to just substitute everything in here. So v is e to the minus x, du by dx is 6x plus u, which is 3x squared, times by the derivative of v, which is negative e to the minus x. Now, I could tidy this up. Um, obviously, this expression here is sort of all negative because I'm timesing by the negative here. But uh, I'm not going to sort of waste time in this video doing that because I just simply want to go ahead and substitute in the value that they've asked us to do, which is 1. So we want to substitute 1 into this expression. So here we go. I'm um, just going to put 1 into it and get a, a value. So we have e to the minus 1 times 6. So that would be 6. Um, this whole expression is negative. Uh, 3 times 1 squared is just 1. And then this is e to the minus 1. Um, now, that is really the answer. Uh, I would need a calculator if I want to give a decimal, but I'm just going to tidy it up for you just for some indice skills. Um, so this would be like saying 6 over e uh, minus 3 over e. Therefore, um, the denominators are the same. So 6 over e minus 3 over e, oops, would just mean that you end up with 3 over e as a, as a final answer there. Okay, uh, let's go down to question three. Find the gradient of the function as, uh, okay, so we've got an exponential of two. So there's no product rule here because we are simply going to say that uh, the derivative of y then is equal to, and now it is two times e to the x squared plus one um, times by the derivative of the power. So the derivative of the power would be two x Okay, the one, the constant disappears, remember, when you're differentiating. And then uh, I'm just going to put plus. Okay, I'm just going to keep, like, match the plus here. But then e to the minus 3x uh, times by the derivative of the power. And the derivative of the power would be negative 3. So let's just tidy that up in the next line down. So we have uh, 4x e to the x squared plus 1 minus 3e to the minus 3x, okay? And it asks us, to, oh, it doesn't ask us to substitute a number in, so we have our result. We can't combine them because there's like an x here and we don't have an x here, and that will be our last question. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to see more math tutorials. Check out my playlist on my channel or click one of the videos above. I'll see you next time.